Hello, we're going to do a example problem uh, uh, as an extension of the um, one, one dimensional uh, matrix method uh, lecture we just completed. And so what we have is a, is a one dimensional bar consisting of uh, two cross sections and uh, with a uh, force of uh, 10 pounds applied in the center of this uh, small section. So from a theory standpoint, we just used uh, stiffness AE over L of 100 of the small section, 1,000 of the big section. And so uh, to model that, uh, we're going to model that in ANSYS Classics, Classic Mechanical APDL. Uh, so we have, um, we're going to break that up into three elements. We're going to apply a node on the end, apply a node where we have the uh, force of 10, uh, apply a node at the cross-section change there. So as far as uh, mechanical properties, we have um, uh, for elements 1 and 2 of the small section, uh, we had this A over L of 100. So, so from that we're creating an area of 0.5, uh, a length of 5, and a modulus of elasticity of 1,000. For the, big, for the bigger section where A over L was 1,000, we chose an area of 10, a length of 10, and the uh, same modulus of 1,000. And we're going to make that from a round bar. So these are the diameters uh, that uh, equate to these uh, different areas. So we get into uh, ANSYS Classic, and we go into the uh, preprocessor. Uh, first, we'll uh, uh, create an element type. Uh, so we're going to add that. We're going to use a uh, beam element. Uh, ANSYS doesn't have a one-dimensional element, so we're going to use a two-noted uh, beam element. Um, okay, so then we're going to have some material properties. There's no real constants. We're going to use uh, material properties of, um, uh, click on that, uh, structural, linear, elastic, isotropic, and we said that the modulus of elasticity was a thousand. We'll just use uh, 0.3 for Poisson's ratio. Uh, then we're going to create our sections. Uh, it's going to be a beam section. We'll use a common section. So what will pop up is the uh, beam tool. And they have a round section in there. And here you have to enter the radius. So let's see, for that small section of area 1 half, the radius was uh, 0.398942. And this N is the number of divisions. It's going to create a mesh on this cross section. So it's the number of divisions. We'll start out with 10 and a number of divisions through the radius. We'll just say 10. And we'll kind of do this mesh view. And so it's just uh, the ANSYS method for creating the, the properties. Let's slide this over here. You see, uh, so for that section, uh, here's the um, um, cross-sectional properties. The only one we're interested in is area. So it looks a little choppy, jaggedy there. So we're going to increase the number on the circumference to 40. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, that looks nice and continuous. and. Uh, our area we were shooting for was 0.5, that's close enough. So we um, apply, basically saves that. So the section property that the next one we use, section 2, was also around. And that, on uh, a bigger diameter, was uh, 1.78412. Uh, for a radius. And we'll just use the 40 divisions right away and 10 through the thickness. And we'll take a look at that. Uh, bring it back to the top here. Um, I'll show you on that. Yeah, 9.99, not quite 10 is what we're shooting for. Let's just put that on there and uh, look at that uh, 10. Okay, so we have uh, our cross sections applied. Now uh, we'll do some modeling and we'll create some nodes. And we'll just create them right in the active coordinate system. Uh, so node 1, just going to key those in, is at uh, uh, 0, 0, 0. Apply that. <clears throat> so node 2, 
2 is at 5 inches. Apply that. Okay, looks good. Node 3 is at 10 inches. And node 4, 4 is at uh, 20 inches. Second, second element was uh, 10 inches long also. Okay, so that looks good. Now we're going to create some elements. That. Um, so let's check the element attributes. Uh, okay, so there was only one material property, no real constant, element coordinate system zero. Uh, good. Section number one is either section number one or two. That's so that looks good. So the first two elements we'll create uh, through nodes. Grab that one and that one. And we'll. Uh, just to apply there, yep. Grab that one and that one. <clears throat> okay. So now we'll go back up and change. Now we're going to create the big section that was section number two through nodes. Okay. So we'll do it right there to there. <clears throat> Good. Okay, so there's our model. <clears throat> Plot the elements. Looks good. So let's um, take a look at the section and make sure that it looks good. So we'll change to the size and shape. Let's turn that on just to see how it looks. And uh, uh, so that, uh, yep, looks pretty good. So let's turn that back off. Okay, let's just look at some node numbering here. Uh, <clears throat> so let's turn the node numbering on. Elements. So let's turn the element numbers on also. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Um, Alright, let's double check our sections. Um, let's take a look at, uh, let's make sure section properties look good. Uh, okay, so this is, uh, here's section property one, this is section property two, all that looks good. Um, so let's go ahead and apply some loads. So we'll create, uh, let's go down to loading, uh, define loads, apply, uh, structural load, force on node. So it's right, uh, there's element, there's node one we had right there. We had a load of, uh, in the x direction of 10. So that looks good. Okay, so now let's do our displacements on nodes. So apply that's displacement there and there. So we have uh, one of being that uh, <coughs> this is a this is a three D beam. Um, but we, we're looking at uh, displacements X, Y, and Z, and we really need to uh, restrain rotation in the X you know, at the same time. Zero. Okay, so those uh, symbols pop up. Looks like we're ready to go. So here we'll do a uh, one to solution, uh, solve, uh, solve current. Okay, solution done. Looks good. So let's go down into get out of solution, go into general post processing. Let's just list the results and nodal solution, uh, DOF, X component, OK. And so we have the uh, 
uh, displacement of node 2 was the 0 0.52381 and uh, times 10 to the negative 1 and uh, node 3 is 0.476 times 10 to the negative 2 and that lines up with exactly what we calculated before so uh, looks good so let's go back and look at the forces the reaction forces um, so we want to look at those the, the structural forces in the X so uh, here is the resultant uh, reaction forces um, and of course those add up to the uh, uh, negative 10 pounds to keep things in equilibrium and so um, that's it so if anyone's interested in the uh, in the log file to uh, uh, run this same model uh, you can email us at uh, training at feaprofessor.com. Thanks.